Hi everyone and welcome back to Rich Reviews. So today you join us in the 458 for a, a breakfast meet at with Region 16 Porsche Club. Yes, we're still aligned with good old Region 16 um, Porsche Club, Ferrari, uh, Porsche Owners Club, nearly said Ferrari Owners Club then, Porsche Owners Club with Stuart and Elaine. Um, Region 16, fantastic organisers as you would have seen from previous videos. We've got a good relationship with them and we've stayed members with the Porsche Owners Club as an affiliate member so we can carry on going to the meets with them. And we're now driving across to Broadway and from avid viewers of our channel, they will know that we were recently at the Broadway car show. Um, so we're popping over to Broadway. There's a Ferrari meet there today as well. So we picked up a Porsche meet and we're gonna pick up on a Ferrari meet at Broadway. And also we have a another 458 in tow behind us we have um, our good friend who's just recently purchased his his 458 and he's in the 458 following behind us so here we are again we're back at broadway this time not for the broadway car show if you look at the videos below you see that we provided coverage of the broadway car show that runs every single year here at broadway so today it's for the ferrari owners club and it's the broadway event for um, pretty much just a, a breakfast morning event obviously it covers off lunch as well and it runs from about nine o'clock to 3 p.m in the afternoon so what we're going to do is we're going to take you for a walk around and show you some of the cars here and hopefully i'll be able to describe most of the cars here that are along the main line uh, for the ferrari tennis club So first of all, of course, this is my car, 458 Spider. As we move along the line, we come to a 458 Speciale. 458 Speciale, obviously Rosso Corsa, got the harness inside, stripped out, as usual for the Speciale models. Got the usual specification of carbon in the engine bay with the display, with the, with the engine display cover. So this particular Speciale, as you can see, it doesn't actually have the center stripe. As we move down, obviously here we've got a 360 Spider. You can see that it's a manual, so you've got the gated shift. You can see it's uh, really beautiful the way how Ferrari designed the actual H shift. And you get that ubiquitous clonk as you change gear, the click clack as you go between the different sections of the H gate. And this has got the engine cover open, so you can see there the plenum chambers and the air filter covers. And of course the exhaust, it looks like it's got a tuned exhaust, the rear tuned silencer on there. So this is actually a 328 GTS. So the ubiquitous or definitively they were called the Targa because obviously the center section's not in, not in the car because it actually has the Targa design. It's a manual, you can see there the, the H gate, they didn't have the automated single plate clutches at that time, obviously moved on to the DCT, the dual clutch transmissions. This is the 328 GTS, so obviously this is the 3.2 engine. So this is upgrade from the 3 litre from the 308. We move down here, we've got the 246 Dino. 246 GT Dino. Beautiful car. It's in yellow. I don't know if this is the original colour or not. You can see here it's got the, the actual full lock nuts or bolts. Definitively are bolts, but people call them lock nuts on the wheels, chrome, it's in very good condition. Let's just focus a little bit on these tires. These are the old style tires. In the olden days, uh, back in the day, if you like, um, this part of the tire actually provided a lot of suspension so you can see they're curved. So when you actually um, push these cars hard, you had a bit of give in the tires. So you had to let the car give a bit to actually let the tire lean into the actual corners and then the tires would grip 
and this actually provided extra suspension so part of the suspension of these old cars was actually in the tyres and here we have we're already looking at the 328 GTS here we've got a 308 GTB so this is the earlier model of the of that series uh, with the three litre engine and again comparable tyres here to the Dino that we were just looking at um, providing actual suspension in the tyres themselves in addition to the actual suspension travel that was designed into the car into the chassis here we have another 246 GTS and again this would nickname the Targa because the centre section of the roof is removable for those who are un unsure of course these were the Dino brand so they weren't a Ferrari they were Dino brand but interestingly enough you look at the back of this car um, a lot of the actual dealers when they had these cars in because because they couldn't sell them as a Dino even though they were made by Ferrari they actually put the Ferrari horse on the back of the car after the cars were delivered to try and sell them and advertise to show that they were actually made by Ferrari and they have Ferrari on the back here so this is either one of the later branded models that actually was branded as a Ferrari or this had the Ferrari branding put on the car after the car was delivered. So here we have a Ferrari 488 Pista. This is a very highly specified Pista. It's got the carbon wheels, um, standard shields, but that is still optioned. I, don't, I think it was a standard option actually on the Pista. It's got the, the front diffuser section in carbon fiber. The rear diffuser section is actually in carbon fiber too. And the actual air intake sections for the engine, which is actually for the the um, intakes to the turbochargers is actually in carbon fibre too. Usual carbon fibre across in the engine bay and you can see here the carbon fibre rear diffuser and the rear section which used to be called the, the uh, challenge section on the earlier Ferraris. It's the rear panel in carbon fibre too. And the, the side skirts as well in carbon fibre. If you look here the actual wheels you can see it's really painful. If you actually damage these wheels you're into a hell of a lot of pain and a lot of cost to actually get these remediated because they're they're actually carbon fiber nice to look at but a particularly perceivably a pain in the backside to actually keep in that sort of condition so walking down the line again we've got another 328 gts here again nicknamed the target because the roof been removed here we have a quick look at the actual mid-end mid-engine configuration of the v8 so as you move down here we've got a 488 spider kramer interior red center stripe down the seats um, I think it's black carpeting inside black dash also Rosso Corsa exterior body color carbon fiber on the center fins to provide um, on the vents that provide cooling into the engine here we've got an original California Ferrari California we move down here we've got a another 308 a GTB this time so not a Targa so we're just moving quickly down the line now. Here we've got a beautiful 458 Speciale. It's got the beautiful centre stripe, blue, blue stripe down the centre with the actual white strips either side of the actual blue stripe. Black seats with, um, with red centres on the squab and the, on, on the squab and the actual seat section. And the actual squab is the seat section, but on the back part in the seat section. Racing zone carbon fiber. Well, these are highly specced on carbon fiber anyway, obviously stripped out, very lightweight cars, the usual carbon fiber around the engine bay, and the side fins as usual by the sills in carbon fiber, which actually direct the air nicely past the actual rear wheel so you don't get air disturbance around by the actual rear wheels of the car. Moving down here, we've got a 458 Spider, Kramer interior, comfort seats. Uh, the Daytona configuration on the seats with the, with the red sections showing the, the horizontal stripes quite highly spec it's got the um, it's got the racing zone in carbon fiber the vents and center section in the in the dash carbon fiber it's got the JBL stereo upgrade 20 inch forge wheels the rear what used to be the challenge grill in carbon fiber and it's got the uh, the tricolor strip badge across the in front of the actual Ferrari which is um, uh, I think it's about uh, uh, an 800 pound option if you get that done at Ferrari but you can actually buy the, exactly the same part from eBay for a hundred pounds and then stick it on yourself because it's just a, a stick on badge and here we have a 360 Modena this is in one of the original uh, colors this is a manual obviously um, so this is actually quite sought after being a manual 
And this, I believe this was the launch, one of the launch colors, or this was the launch color for the car. You look at the engine bay on this, it's actually, obviously the driver's more keen to put the mileage on it to actually keep it clean. You see the plenum chambers there, the actual crinkly red paint, um, perceivably needs renovating, but it's good to see that the car's been really, really used quite extensively. It'd be interesting to know what the actual mileage is on this car. So here we have the 458 Spider that's actually following us down. Um, this is a good friend of ours. This is his 458 Spider. The interior is the actual light colored Sabia sand. It's the actual color downgraded a little bit from the crema, so it's not as white as the crema, but Sabia sand. Comfort seats. So it's got the burgundy carpet. It's quite highly specced in the interior. Carbon fiber racing zone. Um, it's got the carbon fiber center dash. Hasn't got the side, side sections in carbon fiber on the center console uh, like mine has, but it's got a carbon fiber center part of the, of the console. Um, if you look around here, we'll just have a quick look at the, uh, the engine bay. You can see on here how actually deep set the engine is on the 458. These are the plenum chambers. This is the actual air filter box. Very rare on the 458 Spider to actually have much carbon fiber in the engine bay because what's the point? You can't actually see the engine unless you lift up the actual engine cover. And the actual engine itself is actually set quite deep down to keep the center of gravity low on the car. Obviously that aids a lot in the road holding of the car, um, keeps the mass very, very low. A lot of people are confused. This isn't actually an engine on the cars. This is actually the plenum chambers, which actually you've got the map, map sensors, mass airflow sensors in here for the actual, uh, for the actual to, to manage the actual flow of fuel into the as the intake. This is the actual intake plenum chambers, uh, managing the fuel delivery into the actual top end of the engine. And the actual engine doesn't start until lower down, obviously keeping the main mass of the engine low in the car, which is very important for mid-engine cars. Standard rear diffuser on the back, which is sensible because why would you put a carbon fiber rear diffuser on them when they're likely to get damaged and they cost thousands of pounds to repair. So just as we close out now for the last few cars, we've got California T here, which is obviously the upgraded model from the actual standard California. Crema interior, obviously four seated. On these cars, you could actually delete the rear seats and have a storage area for, for bits and pieces. So when you went shopping, etc. Russo Corsa Crema interior. And then moving across here, I think this is the last, last car here. We've got the 488 GTB. So this is Grigio, I believe this is Grigio Grey on the outside, like Grigio Silverstone. And you've got a black interior, race carbon seats, a Daytona configuration on the seats. And you've got painted shields on this car as well, which is very, very rare. So this is a 488 GTB with painted shields. Thankfully, they haven't put the massive painted shields on there. So it actually fits in very well with this fender because there's not much space to put a large shield in there, it would look misrepresented. It would look mi misrepresented on the actual wing. So a quick wristwatch check. Uh, today I've got the, the, the Rolex Deep Sea James Cameron edition. I've just picked this up last week. So thanks a lot to my AD if he's watching. Very good of you to look after me. So that's it for today. We're gonna to close out from Broadway for the Ferrari Owners Club meet. Um, been a great plethora of cars. You can see we've only got a fairly small stretch here where the actual Ferrari Owners Club have parked up but phenomenal quality of cars and very eclectic brands, a very, very eclectic series of cars that are here today. Hope you really enjoyed it. If you have, then please give us a like, give us a thumbs up, show us that you like the video. Plenty more great content to come. If you're not subscribed, then please think about subscribing. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.